Hi, I'm David Parker. I'm here with my fellow Vizio MVP, Chris Roth. Now, Chris, I used to use CAD and I used to organise my drawings there with layers. Do you have anything like that in Vizio? Yes, we do. Vizio's had layers for a long time now. It's not, it's not the newest feature. I think it's been around since 3.0, but it's still very useful even in Vizio 2010. And especially for people who are doing measured drawings, you can use layers in any drawing you'd like, but I think they apply mostly to, especially things like space plans or mechanical mm -hmm. drawings. So let's see what layers can do for us. You see this simple space plan in front of us, and it's not so simple because there's a lot of detail. You can see there's electrical outlets and data ports and things, and over here there's actually one on top of a shredder. It gets a little bit difficult to see it. Now all these shapes have been assigned to layers, and layers will make our, not only working with the drawing easier, mm -hmm. but also allow us to have different views that are more appropriate for different consumers of the drawing. So let's go to the Layers dialog, which is right on the Home tab over here, and we can pick Layer Properties, and we'll see that we've got all sorts of layers that have names that make sense. We've got Dimension Lines, we've got Electrical, Facilities Management, Furniture, etc. And we can do also some interesting things to these layers. One I like to do is I like to have my Dimension Lines colored. Now instead of formatting all the Dimension Lines, I can actually just temporarily co color them using layering. So I'll do that and I'll hit apply and you can see the dimension lines are now red. Now I haven't actually changed any drawing data so mm -hmm. if somebody else, well, maybe I give the drawing to you and you don't like red dimension lines, you don't have to go unformat them. You can just turn off this temporary application of characteristics. Another thing I like to do is lock dimension lines and you can see that now when I exit I can't actually click on these and accidentally move them. Now, in addition to being cluttered, it's actually hard to select shapes. So, say I wanted to get these light symbols here. If I try to do a drag select around them, I end up moving the space shape behind it. I'll hit undo there. Uh -huh. Now, I can do a shift click on all these, but that gets tedious after a while. So, another thing we might like to do is go to the layer properties and either lock the facilities management layer, or let's just turn it off altogether. So, we'll hit visible, just like that and you can see it's all gone away. Now, you, so you're getting the idea that the shapes are, have been assigned to layers. You could think of them as being assigned to categories, because unlike CAD, Visio layers aren't actually invisible sheets of vellum that can be moved up and down in the Z-order stack. They're just a categorization. Yeah, right. We've got background pages as well, haven't we? Yeah. Visio has background pages for managing things like that, but mm. layers have nothing to do with sort of up and down, front to back order yeah. in Visio. And where that comes in handy is, say you wanted to select a bunch of shapes by type. Well, over here on the Home tab, you can see there's, there's some drop-down items under the Select menu, and we can select by type. And not only can we choose connectors or s containers, but we can actually select shapes by, by their layer assignment. So we could click on the furniture and do this. And it's hard to see right now, but if I take this selection and move it a little bit, you can see that we've got all the furniture, but we've left the, the equipment and the electrical stuff alone. Right, I could change the color, whatever I wanted to. Exactly. So we've locked some things down, and we've seen how to select shapes by layer type. Uh, imagine that this drawing was going to go off to the, uh, the electrical contractor. Yeah. Now, he doesn't really care about PCs and desks and chairs, so we could pre pre uh, prepare a view for him by going to the layer properties again and just turning all those things off. We don't need furniture, we don't need office equipment, walls are probably important to him. We've already turned off the space shapes. Dimensions might be interesting, so we'll do that. And now, without really changing anything within the diagram, we've created a view that's pr appropriate for a particular customer, but we still have all of our data in there. And also, it highlights the fact that we're missing an electrical switch here. We wouldn't have seen that before because the drawing was too busy, but you can see that clearly now. Each, these are fairly standard office configurations. Okay. Do all shapes in Visio have layers? Not by default. A lot of the space planning shapes do. They come in with layers uh, from Microsoft. I actually changed the layers for this diagram, but uh, an obvious candidate is up here. We have two title block elements that mm -hmm. don't really belong in this diagram ultimately, but they serve as an example that we can choose this other item that we've been ignoring for the last few minutes and say assign to layer, assign the selected shape to a layer. And you can see there's layers in there that uh, 
we've grown accustomed to. Mm -hmm. A few are missing actually because we've locked the layers and you're not allowed to assign layer, locked layers to shapes. Yeah. But let's just create a new one because none of these really apply to this. We'll call it the title layer. I'll hit OK. And let's go in and lock that down quickly. There's the title layer. It's got two shapes on it. And we will lock it so that we don't accidentally select and move it right there. So those are the windows I got. Great. OK. Generally, layers are pretty useful, as you know. I've yep. seen the drawings you've created. <laughs> Very complicated. You, without layers, you wouldn't survive. No, that's great, Chris. Uh, well, thanks for ex trying to explain it to us and make it simple. Thank you very much.